Just finished watching Elon Musk talk with Donald Trump on X to, I believe it got up to 1.6 million people, at least what I saw on the, what do they call those things? The damn tweet, Twitter X spaces, the X spaces, because it wasn't a video stream, although that would have been way better, but so just finished watching that. That was a great conversation. You know, if you've, li if you listen, I listen to Trump almost every time he goes up and talks. So it's a lot of the same talking points, but also getting to hear, uh, like Elon went in on like climate change and stuff. And he had things to say and like, they don't, they didn't line up one-to-one -one by any means. And it was really cool to see a different perspective from Elon Musk, but I'm not here to talk about that. There's plenty of other places you can go check that out. That's on Twitter. It's on Donald Trump's account go who's back on Twitter, by the way. Anyhow, what I want to talk about is what happened leading up to the conversation. So today the European commission sent this letter to Elon Musk and they also CC'd the CEO of X, Linda Yaccarino. And essentially this is a letter to Elon Musk saying, make sure Donald Trump doesn't do any of the hate speeches can't have none of the hate speech and uh they were pretty much telling him to make sure that he censors asking him to censor donald trump for their laws that they are trying to apply worldwide fuck you european union i saw this and this reminded me that this this i forgot about this but elon Musk tweeted out a while ago this here the European Commission offered X an illegal secret deal if we quietly censor speech without telling anyone, they would not fine us. Other platforms accepted that deal, X did not. So the European Union has definitely been trying to get Elon Musk to take more control over speech and the freedom that is allowed there. Now, it's not perfect. There's, there's a lot of... You get deleted for jokes. You get deleted for random stuff i got i got removed from x because they thought i was a bot it, probably because i have like sometimes when i'm doing prep i'm doing i've got like 30 tabs open and i won't necessarily close those windows all the time anyway so we got the european commission trying to shut down elon musk and this is what elon musk had to say it's not gonna look there we go so this is from Theory Brenton with the letter. And Elon Musk says, to be honest, I really wanted to respond with this Tropic Thunder meme, but I would never do something that something so rude or irresponsible. Take a big step and literally fuck your own face is what he was telling the European Commission. Go fuck yourself. There's no other way to do. There's no better way to handle something like that. This is. The perfect response to people who are trying to force their way of life onto you. Who gets to define what hate speech even means? But those weren't the only people complaining. We've got journalists. Misinformation. So let's listen to what this twathead's got to say. Elon Musk is slated to interview Donald Trump tomorrow tonight um, on, on X. Uh, I don't know if the president is going to tune in. Feel free to say if he is or not. Um, but I, I think that um, misinformation on Twitter is not just a campaign issue. It's a this guy sounds gay. Just saying. Uh, you know, it's an America issue. Uh, what role does the White House uh, or the president have in sort of stopping that or stopping the spread of that? Or How can the White House control your speech? That's what he's asking. How can the White House make sure that they can control speech on the internet, particularly speech they don't like? Um, sort of inter intervening in that. Some of that was about campaign misinformation, but you know, it's a wider thing, right? Yeah, no, and you've heard us talk about this many times from here about the responsibilities that social media uh, platforms have uh, when it comes to misinformation, disinformation. Uh, don't have anything to read out from here about uh, specific ways. Because there's nothing you can do. Thank God for the First Amendment. Dumb bitch. Uh, that we're working on it, but we believe that, that they have the responsibility. Uh, these are private companies, so we're also mindful of that too. Uh, but um, 
Look, it is. Uh, I think it, it is incredibly important uh, to to call that out as you are you're doing. I just don't have any specifics on on what we have been doing in terms. Because they can't do anything about it. These people hate you. The European Union think that they know what you should be listening to. The 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 journalists want you to want to control what what information you have access to because they don't like it that they are not the only place that you can get information from they don't have a monopoly on that anymore it's a good thing that's one of the best reasons why the internet is a thing but yeah this so this they they just want to shut they want to shut down donald trump every means possible and they knew that getting the richest man in the world in the same room, virtually, as the most famous man in the world, would only do things but help Trump get elected. It's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next few months. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a good one.